This thing is as dead as a triple A in a nun's... Uh... No, well, never mind. Now, have you ever tried plugging a cable into your right elbow with your left hand? It... <sighs> Allow me to assist. Oh, no, no, you don't have to. The cable is connected. Thanks. You know, there's a time when I would have hated that. I've always wanted people to know I don't need anybody's help. I've got my life sorted. Sorted right out. And my one-room IBS bedsit is just... a bump in the road. And then I lost the arm, and I just... I just... <sighs> right? Right in the overdrive. I'm fine. I don't need help. Just stay away. I am an autonomous unit as well. No. No, you're not. You're part of this crew. You see, if you go on too long, thinking you can get by alone, pretending you're better than the other working stiffs so you don't have to do anything for them or, or them for you, and pretty soon you've only got yourself left to despise. It was Ace and Chief that set me straight, convinced me to pull my head out of my ass. They got me to stay after. If they hadn't been around, I... Well... Yeah, getting burned alive will screw with your worldview. Oh, I, right. I, I never told you, did I? Yeah, well, um... The old arm wasn't cut off or broken or anything like that. A Heisel tank exploded in our hangar, and my suit caught fire with me inside it. No warning. Just bang, and well, Ace was right there with me. The fuel lines in my arm were burning. The hatch control and emergency hatch port detonator both malfunctioned. The suit recorded everything, so I know I was conscious for 32 seconds before I blacked out. Ace dragged me to the chem shower. Felt longer at the time. Ace got hit pretty bad in that blast as well. Spent a day in intensive care. You should see the scars. Anyway. We both figured there was nothing worse the Exo fighter life could throw at us, so... Why not keep going? Ibius actually paid out a hazard bonus for that one. Of course, by accepting it, we waived our right to sue for damages. Way it goes, I guess. You really are messed up. God, Madge! This, someone should put a bell on you. This is a, a private conversation. Does a man get no privacy? We're living inside metal box. Everybody hears everybody pee. Don't get bashful on me now. Especially with such a badass story. Right there. On the control platform. That's where Leviathan's core is. So? You're telling me this thing we must destroy could not be further away unless it was in space? Oh, there's no good news without bad. My calculations confirm you are correct. Come on, Madge. Stay positive. Look at it this way. Yes? We'll likely starve to death long before we manage an attack on Leviathan. Just like my grandmother.